Hey guys, it's your girl Mel coming to you real quick. Happy weekday. I have to start saying that because most of the time I don't remember which day it is because your mama, this girl right here is busy. I'm saying your mama. See, I'm so used to talking to kids that uh, I'm always in mommy mode, business mode. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just homeschool mode. I'm just in so many different modes. However, I wanted to come to you guys really quick and try to make this video as clear as possible. I posted possibly on my Instagram or something a while ago. Oh, you know what it was? I started a video basically saying that I wanted to do um, a video about health and the different um, detoxes that I've done and the different cleanses that I decided to do in these last couple of weeks. Um, but I didn't post that, so this is me in my own head. Um, but I wanted to come to you guys and um, let you know what journey I've been on. I wanted to kind of get it jump started first and see how it was working for me, see what results I was actually um, getting from it, and then obviously wanting to share that with you guys. So, hey guys, sorry about that. My son decided to walk into my room. He likes to walk around in his under underclothes. He does not like clothes for some reason. I don't know if that's all boys. I really don't know, but literally we could be out. He could be fully clothed. The moment we walk back in the house, it's like he got to take everything off and get comfortable. I'm just like, all right. Anywho, um, so yeah, I wanted to come to you guys really quick and just um, share with you what has been going on and some of the things I definitely want to encourage you guys to do and um, also the things that actually work. For one, I've been on, I'm new to YouTube, right? However, I've been watching different YouTube videos and I've been watching YouTube for years. I mean, you know, we love YouTube, right? Because it's always a good how-to video that we can find for skincare, hair care, you know, internal cleanses and all that stuff. Um, but I'm gonna share my point of view based on what I've actually lived and what I've experienced. Um, right now, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my early 30s, and I noticed that I had started to get some acne here on my cheeks, and um, I had never had acne, never. Not in high school, not in my early 20s, never had acne. Um, and so, when I started getting acne, I was like, what is this, what's going on? So I thought if a bump showed up, oh, it'll be easy to clear up because if I did have a bump show up on my skin, it would go away quickly. It was never an issue. But I noticed that I'm in a different phase of my life. So um, that being said, for all the women who are in their 30s or just hit 30, um, I feel like you probably understand what I'm saying. Your body just changes, right? So you gotta kind of figure out what it's saying to you now. And I tend to be very in tune with my body and what my body is telling me, but when it shifts, right? Now I'm like, I gotta get to know this body all over again and what works for it, what doesn't. Um, last summer I decided to do uh, a vegan diet for eight weeks. And when I say vegan, I mean literally no animal products whatsoever. And it was a huge benefit to me. Um, my skin cleared up very, um, very easily. I had a natural glow that I always had, but it was almost like I had to go get it back. When my, like I said, because my body was changing. Um, different things were just happening. Just I had more energy um, internally. I felt healthier. Um, I think I said in one of my no, I didn't say since I didn't post the video, but I was saying how you know as I'm getting older, I want all of my joints to work properly. I want to be able to bend my knee and it don't feel rickety. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to, you know, do some of the dance moves I used to do back in the day. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to be out there dropping it, but I want to be able to. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said and done, I did the eight week uh, vegan, not so much diet, but just, I just went vegan for eight weeks. My body was telling me to get rid of all animal products. And when I decided to listen, I reaped the benefits of it because like I said, I gained so much more energy. Um, my skin felt better. Um, internally, I felt better. I slept better. I had more clarity of mind, um, all these different things. And just to touch on certain things, see guys, I wanna always be real with you guys because I think I'm not the only woman on this planet that deals with different changes, right? As a woman, so I'm speaking to all my ladies right now, as a woman, your body goes through changes, especially after you have children. Your body goes through all these different changes and, um, hold on guys, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to come back because my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna come back. All right guys, I'm back. I'm sorry, my battery is about to die and I was like, oh no, I had to go catch it. But um, I wanted, what was that? I can remember my last thought. Oh God, <laughs> now I don't remember. Um, oh, I think I was saying something about the fact that 
Um, I want to keep, I want to be real with you guys. And I want you, oh, by the way, please ignore, this is laundry. This is laundry. Um, like I said, I'm always in either mommy mode, homeschool mode, business mode. And this laundry gets stuck in my room until I fold it. And I told myself, if you actually look, I don't, I don't want to move the camera because I might drop it. But I need to actually do it so that it can be put away and it'll clear my mind of it. So hopefully I'll get to it before I go to bed tonight. I think I will because I don't think I have anything else that I have to do. So I think that's gonna be the next thing on my list to get done. I'm sure all the mommies out there completely understand me, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to, I wanna be honest with you guys. Like I said, our bodies are always going through different changes. After you have kids, your body goes through changes. I mean, I didn't know that this is what was gonna happen until I had you know, until I had my babies and, you know, thankfully, oh God, I thank God for good genes because, you know, I, after I had my first daughter, I want to say I was 175 pounds, but mind you, I started at 140, 145, the smallest I think I was, I was like 140, but I'm tall, I'm 5'9", five, 5'10", five, my kids tease me because they say they, they think I'm actually only 5'9". Whatever, I think I'm fine, but whatever. That being said, um, when I had her, I wanna say literally two days, three days later, everything snapped back into place. I was like, yes, Jesus, let's work this out. And then when I had my second, it took about a week and then everything snapped back. And then when I had my third, it took about two to three weeks and everything snapped back. And actually my last, no, not my last, my second, I was probably in the best shape. Um, because I had a son and he was slightly colicky and the only thing that would make him go to sleep is if I would hold him and do squats with him. So there you go. And it was like, in your mind, it's like the battle of, you know, two, not two evils, but you know what I'm saying? It was like either you do squats, do 50 to 100 squats every single day so he can go to sleep or you listen to him scream and cry. So I was like, I'm gonna do these daggone squats. So yeah, I was in shape. <laughs> I was in shape by default. But um, to get back on topic, guys, like I said, I wanna get into some of these healthy things. So one, I wanna show you guys, when I get snackish, when I feel hungry, when I wanna grab something that's a little bit sweet but I really shouldn't be eating sugar and I really shouldn't be eating processed sweets and all that stuff, this is what I get. Please excuse my nails. I keep telling myself that I'm gonna take this nail polish off. This is a roasted sweet potato, by the way. It's a roasted sweet potato with fresh ginger, not fresh ginger, I'm sorry, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, a little bit, a little bit of sea salt, um, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of coconut oil. Instead of using butter, I use coconut oil. And when I say this tastes so, so good, this is one, an easy way to eat like a vegan, healthy option. Coconut oil is an antimicrobial, is really good for internal health. Um, for women that deal with like yeast overgrowth in their bodies, like systemic yeast and things like that, women may not always wanna talk about it, but I encourage you not to necessarily always run out to try to get like over the counter stuff. Anytime you're dealing with a yeast overgrowth in your body, it's because you're probably eating way too much sugar. It's probably because you're eating way too much processed food, way too much fried food, something. And if that's the case, that's when you want to literally, literally submerge the inside of your body with live foods. And what that means for me, what I've been doing, by the way, just to kind of go into the cleanse that I've been doing, for the first three days, I did a liquid cleanse where, I'm sitting on my bed, y'all, so, yeah, so the first three days I did a liquid cleanse where I did, I had gone online, and like I said, this is not the first time I've done something like this, but I was like, I don't wanna just drink broth, cause they do liquid cleanses where you drink just like broth for three days. I didn't wanna do that because I know I'd be hungry and I knew I'd probably be aggravated, and when I get hungry, as most people, it's kind of intense. So I was like, I need to have something that at least gives me some kind of food. So what I did was I did um, vegetables. So spinach, um, cucumber was my best friend. Cucumber is still my best friend. That is one of the things I would tell you to go get immediately is cucumbers. Organic, please. Organic cucumbers. Um, I'm going to show you guys one of the things um, that I eat, which I'm either going to post pictures 
like in between my conversation or I'll post it at the end. I don't know, cause I'm still learning how to edit. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll probably post it at the end of the video of the different um, meal items, meal options that I was eating, that I'm still eating right now that has been helping me a ton. Okay, a ton. Um, the roasted sweet potato, although sugar is not something you should be eating if you're trying to get rid of a yeast overgrowth in your body, systemic yeast. Um, for me, what I found was that as long as I was eating, I mean, a high dosage of dark leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, dark leafy green salads, and I mean, I'm talking about get a bowl this big and fill it up, olive oil, lemon, a little bit of sea salt, and go to town on that salad. Um, if I was doing that, then if I had a roasted sweet potato that day, uh, I didn't feel a negative effect of it. Now for me, what I notice is that if I'm eating way too much sugar or something like that, I do feel it. I, my body changes, I have foggy brain, I'm exhausted. I mean, all these different things and my skin is starting to show it. So I don't know if you can see it now. I have a few dark marks on my cheek right now that are going away. However, when this was about a week ago and that's because I'm also picking at my face and I wasn't supposed to be picking at my face but I couldn't help it. So I was picking at my face and I was going to town because it was hard to get out and I was just like trying to get it and I knew. I was like, Melanie, you're gonna do this to the point where you can't dig no more, stop. But I was picking and picking and picking. I was left with all these different scars on my face and I was just like, Mel, you knew that was gonna come. But I said, fine, how am I gonna combat the scars? Well, cucumbers. Cucumbers in my smoothie every single day has been showing up, for me has been a major, major benefit in hydrating my skin, has been um, a major benefit in healing the scars on my skin, and I notice, like I said, I notice a difference. Also, cucumbers are high in fiber as well, especially if you're eating the outside, which you should be. If you're putting it in your smoothie, you need the whole thing. Um, that fiber is what you need. We already know what fiber does to us, okay? It helps helps get things moving along but you want it to you always want to keep clean on the inside you know what I'm saying so all my ladies out there who don't like to eat a lot of vegetables or you know you eat a lot of processed food I'm trying to tell you right now please stop please stop try to balance that out I'm not saying you can't have it I'm not saying you you know you can't enjoy and indulge once in a while but you want the majority of what you're eating it's like that 80 20 rule you want 80% of what you're eating to be fresh live um, edifying food thing that things that are going to feed your body uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys the other thing that I started to use on my skin I know I never use over-the-counter stuff on my skin I always use natural stuff so coconut oil is something that I use here and there I don't use it every day there's a lot of people who swear by it I don't use it on my skin every day because I notice that I don't need it on my skin every day and it almost seems as though my body absorbs it one or two days and then on the third day it's almost like it doesn't want any more so I can't use coconut oil on my skin every day um, but I do use rose oil which is really really good for your skin um, oh I started using this lemongrass what is it called it's like a lemongrass oil and I'm gonna oh, let me see if I can go get it okay it's this is lemongrass coconut bo body oil so although this does have the coconut oil in it it also has almond and jojoba oil in it those are oils that are very light which my body uh, allow like my body absorbs those oils very well you definitely don't want a bunch of stuff that sits on your skin because that's another reason why acne body acne whether you get it back here on your you know on your decolletage as they say um, or on your face you want to use things that are light things that are easily absorbed and um, your body actually drinks it in but something else I'm, oh oh detox tea detox tea I think everybody has probably heard about this at this point but it's true it actually works I do lemon turmeric lemon turmeric honey ginger lemon turmeric honey ginger that's what I do and I've been swapping out sugar for honey in most cases even though honey is sugar I noticed again for me what I noticed is that 
it seems to make a difference. Like it really does seem to make a difference. And honey definitely has a lot of benefits to it. So, you know, I guess the benefits outweigh the, the bad for honey because for me, what I notice when I'm trying to stay away from sugar and I switch over to honey, mind you, I'm not ODing. I'm not like, you know, two tablespoons. I'm doing probably a tea, two, one to two teaspoons of honey in my tea, which is this comes in this big old, I, I drink it out of this mug. This is almost like as big as a soup bowl, but I love drinking my tea out of this. And I always have my glass of water ready, <laughs> which is true. I'm always drinking, like I'm always drinking water. So that's the other thing that it takes me to. Water, you need water. You need a ton of water. I know people don't want to drink a lot of water. People hear bad things about water, which I don't even understand that. All I can say is this, you need water. You need to hydrate your skin, you need to hydrate your body, you need to continue to keep it replenished. And drinking a lot of water, eating these high fiber meals that are um, live foods, drinking the detox tea, all of these things um, will help flush your system out, which gets all the toxins out, which is what you want, because then you won't have acne. Then you'll actually realize that your hair will grow. Let me tell you, y'all, y'all don't understand. When I say my body has changed, my body has really changed. And I'm like, okay, in order for me to get on board with what my body wants to do, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give you nothing but good stuff. And then I'm gonna see how you decide to operate. And my body's been saying thank you to me. And in the process, women, that's the other thing. If you wanna have like a natural, good smelling body odor, I guess you wanna say, it's really the whole you are what you eat is a very real thing. It's a very real thing. If you eating a lot of pork chops and bacon <laughs> and flesh, how about let's just say this, if you eating flesh, which is what chicken, beef, or turkey, if that's, you're eating dead flesh. Think about that. You're eating dead flesh <laughs> and you wonder why you have BO if you don't put on deodorant. You wonder why things ain't always, you know, smelling too right if you're eating these things you're eating dead flesh dead flesh does not smell good and especially if you don't have a proper um elimination from your body that stuff sits in your body and rots and it's disgusting so guys i just want to give you a few of my tips and i'm hoping that this will benefit somebody out there even if it's this to me is like a very easy beginners um beginners way of slowly gently detoxing your body in a good in a in a good way a proper way a safe way that won't um you know put your body into shock i could tell you a quick little story my my um father and my mother see and i didn't want this video to be this long but my father and my mother they had started a detox years ago when the atkins diet was out and all that stuff and one of the things they decided to do was do like this beet drink and people don't understand beets are great for detoxing but beets are very strong so if you drink a lot of beet juice i'm talking about pure beet juice i'm telling you that stuff will get you and my parents were laid up sick as dogs because they were cleaning out all the toxins and because of how much they drink it literally caused their body to go into shock so it was crazy um either way all guys i'm just giving you my tips i'm hoping that this will benefit somebody out there i'm hoping that this will really give you you know some stuff to get started with in the very early in the morning start with your lemon water let water be the first thing that you drink even if you don't have lemons in it start with water because water jump starts your metabolism so if you're looking to lose weight in my case i'm not actually looking to lose weight i just want to be healthy you understand what i'm saying um yes yeah, start your day with some water make yourself a cup of tea um apple cider vinegar is something that i like to utilize here and there not every single day because i don't think it's good to do it every single day i think anything done to extreme becomes error so you always want to monitor you know how much of something you're doing and yeah i hope that this video is beneficial to you guys if you have any questions please leave comments below um and yeah if you have just any thoughts questions opinions let me know all right, y'all, other than that, I really hope that you guys are enjoying your day. I think today is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. <laughs> so have a good Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm going to get to this laundry so I can fold these clothes and put them away. And uh, that's it, y'all. Hopefully, I'll have another video for y'all by the end of, sorry, by next week. And that's it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. See you. Bye. 
And one more thing, I forgot to let you guys know that I'm definitely going to be leaving some recipes in the description box below. So make sure you go and check that out. These are very simple, very easy um, recipes that you can utilize. And other than that, that's it, y'all. I love you. Like, comment, and subscribe. I got to say that now because I'm a YouTuber now.